Hey everyone, it's me, X Kid Dances. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll related videos every single day. In today's video, I am so excited because I managed to get Shadow High Series 2. They went up on Amazon a couple weeks ago, I think, and I pre ordered them and they took forever to get here, but two of them have arrived, and here they are. So here's it, Carla Chopet, and I love this new packaging style so much. I love the artwork, it's so beautiful. It says Shadow High, and I really love, I've been complaining about this since Rainbow High started, that they don't do enough character art, and now they're doing so much more, and look how gorgeous she is. Oh, and they're all um, fashion design focuses, so I'm wondering how that's going to be implemented into the show. And you can see that these dolls now, instead of having two outfits, they come with a bunch of extra accessories, and a more detailed than usual first outfit. I am very sad about the loss of the second outfits, but it seems like they had to do this to keep the price at the $25 mark, and I'm just glad that we're not at the $40 mark like we were with the... Um, <laughs> um rainbow vision dolls um and then oh and the the costume ball dolls i don't know i think this price point will take some getting used to but it just depends on how high quality these dolls truly are so i'm really curious about that and you can see that cute enough the two dolls that happened to come today monique and carla and i ordered them all at the same time look how cute they actually go together they have each other on each other's box art and it says fashion doesn't have to follow the rules and neither does shadow high watch out rainbow high we're coming for the runway cute and then this is the upc if anybody needs it and yeah so so cute i'm so so excited and then here we have monique who i guess is friends with carla in some way i'm not sure um and these were ordered from amazon and their boxes are pretty shredded so if you're an inbox collector i recommend waiting to find them in stores because these are pretty dinged up and mine has this big sticker on it um but look and i'm so glad that they came perfect they look so good Look at this art. It's so beautiful. I love that they did it in this holographic material. So gorgeous. And then there's actually like artwork hidden in the background too. I'm pretty sure each character has three pieces of artwork, but some of them are hidden in the packaging. I'm very curious about that. And then the back of her box is the same. And then this is the UPC for Monique. And the little name tag. So as you can see, they're both fashion design focuses and I'm pretty sure all of them in this lineup or fashion design focuses, which is very interesting. Anyways, let's get them out of the box. In my naive world, I thought that these would be easier to unbox because their boxes are a lot less complicated, but man, they managed to fit a lot of stuff in these packages and I wanted to keep the box art. So this was a long time. Brett, literally, he's in the other room gaming and he was like, are you still filming that video? Because it took me that long to open these dolls, by the way. Just, just to let you know. <laughs> Monique and Carla are now out of the packaging and oh my God. These dolls are mind-blowing, but first I wanted to get into the packaging, so you probably could tell I was having a really hard time with that packaging. Um, I really love this new packaging. I think that a lot of doll budgets often, or I know that a lot of doll budgets, in some cases from designers that I've spoken to, it can go as high as 40% of the budget of a doll, is packaging, package testing, and shipment of the packages. Shipment might actually go higher than that. I just know that packaging specifically is a huge amount of the budget for a doll. And for good reason, right? You need to entice customers to buy the doll. But the Rainbow High packaging, the amount of the budget that went to that doesn't really make that much sense this far in when they're already a powerhouse, right? So I really appreciate that we've kept a lot of what makes the Rainbow High and Shadow High packaging so alluring, but we've also made it where it is harder to steal pieces, first of all, because you can just rip the clothes like right out in the convenient little box for you to take home, um, but also it has less elements, so it's not as expensive to produce because I want more of the budget put on the dolls, and you can tell more of the budget went to these dolls. Oh my god. I haven't even gone through all of them yet, like all the little pieces. Just from unboxing them, I'm blown away. Um, I wanted to show you the packaging, though, because there's three unique pieces of artwork for each character, and a bunch of them are hidden in the packaging. Let me pop this part open. Um, so unfortunately, there's like plastic tie marks covering a lot of these beautiful pieces of artwork. So hopefully we get like PNGs of these on the website somewhere, but look how cute these are. This is my favorite one down here. Um, and then this is the one that was on the front of the packaging. And then I also wanted to show you this. I, I was cutting out the ones for Monique, but this is rainbow. It doesn't say shadow. So that's kind of interesting. Um, and then for Monique, we have this one. This one. Sorry, these ones are a bit more uh, messed up because I hadn't really perfected how I'm going to unbox them yet. And this one. This is my favorite one. I really, really like this one. I love the emotion in these. I love the art style. I really love that they look like fashion sketches. It's beautiful. These are absolutely beautiful. And 
Oh, uh, the makeup and accessories and stuff all come in a little blister, which is pretty cute. So if you don't want to use all this stuff, you can keep it for display. But if you do, it's super easy to get it all out of here. So I appreciate that. Anyways, so now let's get into so the review. Really starting off with Monique, because there's something really cool I want to point out with this that has me so excited for the future of Shadow High in general. So this is kind of an abstract thing a bit. So bear, like, stick with me for a second. So in character designs that have fantasy skin tones, which you see even My Little Pony, they're horses with fantasy skin tones. Little is Pet Shop, they're animals with fantasy skin tones, a lot of them. Uh, Monster High, they're people with fantasy skin tones. You're gonna notice that almost every single design is like either the pastel or the lightest color you can get to or at most like a medium shade. And Monster High did do a few that were outside of that kind of limited bubble there. But you'll notice that you see a purple character, they're always gonna be the lightest possible purple. You see a pink character, she's always gonna be the lightest possible pink. And they, they did venture outside of that a little bit. But um, my point here is that it is so incredibly cool and interesting to see them branch out of that with Shadow High Series 2 with characters like Monique. And look how beautiful her plum skin tone is. So um, I'm just so excited about this. I think this is so, so cool. And yeah, I just I just wanted to point it out. Also, I'm very excited for the return of micro braids. And normally I will take the doll's hair down to show you the rooting pattern, but I do want to tell you that it's not very dense because... It's micro braids. Micro braids are huge inside of the head because it's a knot tied in a micro braid or burned edge. I'm not 100% sure how they do these particular dolls micro braids. But in addition to that, they're very thick and heavy. So if you put too much on the head, I'll show you. Um, this is actually a very, very typical rooting pattern for micro braids. And if you think about how micro braids are done on human hair, the rooting pattern also really makes sense. It's just that there's not hair coming out of each little spot on the scalp instead they have to come out of rooting holes because it's a doll um so for the for the possibilities of the scalp splitting and all of the hair just falling out and also just the way micro braids work i don't have a problem with the hair rooting pattern i understand that some might um and it might make hair styling a little bit difficult but that's just kind of how doll micro braids work um, i've been seeing a lot of people upset about her rooting pattern but i'm a bit confused by that because it's actually really impressive for a thick micro braid rooting pattern but oh my god, by the way, look at these braids. The colors. So they all have black in them, except these purple ones. But look how they have like light blue and this really pretty. Oh, this blue one also doesn't have black in it. I'm sorry. Um, So there's purple and blue that don't have any black, but the rest have like, it's not quite black. I think it's like a dark, dark, dark purple or maybe a dark brown. I can't tell 100%. But like, look how gorgeous the effect of this hair is. And if you manage to find these dolls in stores um, and you're waiting to find them in stores to buy them i recommend looking very closely at the micro braids because this the way these are done can have issues like that it doesn't personally bother me and you can kind of clip that and make it not a problem but if it's a problem for you it's something to look out for and now i want to take a look at her beautiful beautiful face zooming in on her face we can take a look at her edges which are super super cute and i really appreciate how close together the plugs are here because that's the one spot that it really matters to me on a rooting pattern like this and i think it looks gorgeous and i love the way they did the edges like the colors of them are very very pretty and then look at those eyebrows she has some really pretty eyebrows i really like the, the they're black and i like the expression of them a lot and then her makeup is super intense so she has this like really really intense black eye makeup here with some white glitter on top and then you can see that there's some gray behind that i love the way they did the bottom lashes and this white like triangle thing that goes to the nose um, I would be careful and look out for that if you get to pick out your dolls in stores because that's probably a big spot that there's going to be eye wonk. I'm actually not bothered by mine. I do think mine is a bit uneven here. The white is thinner on the side than the side, but it doesn't really bother me too much. This makeup look is so, so, so cool. And I really, really like the eye color, although it's... We're seeing the purple eyes again. I'm pretty sure this is Bella's eye color. Don't 100% remember. Um, it's a pretty eye color. I would prefer to see um, other eye colors in Rainbow High, please, because it's almost all purple at this point, but it's okay. It's pretty. It's it's still pretty. And she has a dark purple lip. And then if we move to the side, we can see that she has hoop earrings with... So her last name is Verbena, which is a type of flower. And I'm not the most familiar with that type of flower, and it is a very diverse family of flowers. Or is it a family? I don't know. Group of flowers. Group is also... Oh my gosh, sorry. I'm a biologist. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm, a, I'm a biology major, so I can't just use the word group. But you know, like um, a grouping of flowers that exist. A common name for a lot of different flowers. Um, but this looks more like an orchid to me, but I don't know for sure. But they're very, very pretty. And even if they are orchids, that makes sense. Maybe she just likes flowers in general. I would love to see that, actually. A Shadow High character or a Rainbow High character that, like, incorporates a lot of flowers into their designs. See, that's one thing. If she truly just ends up being into flowers and she incorporates them into her design, why does she only have, like, one hint of that in her outfit? It's so weird that they do that. Although the- I will say the outfit is pretty petally looking, so maybe that's what they were getting at. I don't know. I know this outfit is a bit, um polarizing i've seen a lot of people really hate this outfit but i personally really like it and then she has this necklace i recognize the the like logo here but i don't know what it is not logo but i've seen this exact thing before i can't tell is it dragons i don't know but i've seen this thing that kind of looks like a bow tie and has like this bike looking things that are kind of faces too oh and i love the way they did little resin gems so so cute and it's open on the back 2023 sculpt oh how funny well I think that was probably sculpted in 2022 because uh it's january 2nd today <laughs> and then okay let's take a look at this dress so this dress is super super cool it's very delicate though so if you get this doll be very very careful um you can see that i am a fool and one of the plastic ties did that ah it's so sad it's because it's a very delicate fabric and the surge um line is pretty intense so if you were to pull this it would be pretty likely to rip but check this out it's got this ombre effect. It's really nicely sewn. It reminds me of Enchantix Bloom from Winx Club, which I love. Oh, hello. There's a big old crystal belt under there. Check that out. Cool. Again, I really love the way they did the gems. That is so cool. Huh. I was not expecting that. <laughs> and then um, there's a black waistband under that, I believe. No, it's not black. It's a really pretty ombre fabric. Oh my goodness. Look at that. This is so cool. Yeah, this is definitely very floral. Wow. I'm just in love with this. Like, the way they layered the fabric, like this um, organza underneath that has this iridescence, and then they putting this, what I also think is organza, but with that pretty cupcake wrapper texture. This is very fun dress to, like, feel in your hand. It's really pretty. It's, like, really satisfying to touch. I don't know. Um, but putting this organza that's, like, transparent over that gives you this really beautiful effect underneath. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh my god. And then if we move a little bit further down, see the last tier of the dress. It's so pretty. Check this out. How many layers there are? There's actually three. Oh, four. Because there's the base layer of the dress. Then there's tulle. Then there's the iridescent organza. And then there's the other organza. That might not be organza on the top, by the way. I know this is, though. I don't know. Absolutely gorgeous. This dress is insane to see on a $25 Playline fashion doll, by the way. And then you can see her little glove. Oh, it's still sewn on. Yeah, be very careful when you're unpackaging this doll um, because this dress is pretty delicate. But look, it has SH on it. And this is actually like plastic on top or like it's rubbery feeling, but it's not fabric or paint. It's like it's glued on there. That's really cool. She does not have any rings, but it makes sense because of the glove, but she does have really cute little painted nails, which I love that they do that. It's such a strange thing that you almost never see in fashion dolls, so I really appreciate that Rainbow High is so consistent with it, and Shadow High, obviously. Um, and then the other hand, no rings over here either. She's just not a- she's not a ring wearer. I get it. And then if we move down a little bit more, we can take a look at her shoes, which have that same thing that's on the necklace. And it- like, is it dragons? It might just be a cool design. I don't know, but I love it. And I love the way they do the gems. Like this little spot of resin that they did on here looks so realistic. It's so cool. Oh, and it has those little flared out heels on there as well. God, these are so cool. And then there's L and R here as well. And then this is the stand. It kind of reminds me of like a tambourine for some reason. I mean, you can see it, right? But obviously it's not what they were going for. Um, love it. Works great. Yes. I have it on backward. I don't care. All right. Now we're going to take a look at her extra accessories. So she has a comb. And okay. So for most of the Shadow High Series 2 dolls, they have lots of pieces, like layers in their outfits. So I think the hangers make sense. But for this particular doll, it's she, her dress is so insanely detailed that there's not really extra pieces. The dress is the piece. So the, the hangers are an interesting inclusion for her. I don't mind it though, but look how cute. Shadow. I'm, I'm very grateful that the hangers are back. It's a little bit bizarre, considering they took away the second outfits, but I'm 
I can accept that they took away the second outfits as long as the outfits that we do get are high quality and there's basically confirmed to be fashion packs coming for Rainbow High and or I don't know about Shadow High but Rainbow High for sure so I I can accept this reality I understand that costs are going up and I'm I just I'm very grateful that the quality of the actual outfit pieces and the quality of the dolls themselves is staying the same that's the most important thing to me um but I I understand that that's probably a deal breaker for a lot of people and it is very sad for me. It's hard to accept. Um, and then we have this really pretty Versace Medusa head. Little compact. You can see there. Super, super cute. I love these little accessories. Oh, also, I know that they had to take the second outfits away. Like, I understand it. But I really appreciate that instead of just taking them away and giving us nothing, they decided to give us all these accessories. I've been saying this, that if they're going to price dolls up, just give us a bunch of little accessories. And instead, they priced the dolls down and gave us a bunch of accessories. Now, what is this? Is this like a snake? Or a dragon? It looks like the dragon on the other pieces, man. If, if y'all recognize that, please let me know what it is, because it's really cool. And then you can see the little phone, and it's a little phone case that actually fits the phone. I believe this originated with Paris Hilton, the Paris Hilton doll. So cute. And Team Anti-Sparkle is calling. So cool. And then we can see the little makeup brushes. The makeup brushes might get old if every single Shadow High Series 2 doll comes with them, but I love little accessories like this, so I'm very excited. So we have this, I don't know, blush brush, and then this, you like, I think it's for concealer. I don't know. It's whatever you want to use it for, baby. And then this little one. And then this, okay. They remind me so much of Brad's now, which is so cool same company okay the lid actually comes off of this itty bitty little lipstick container and i love this this is just like the mermaid stuff that is so ridiculously high quality that i love so much and this also has the little medusa head on it how cool is that like what i was not expecting all that all right so that is it for the review of miss monique verbena i'm in love i cannot believe how nice these dolls are but this is a two-part review. Next, we're going to be taking a look at Carla. I'm so excited. I was going to do singular reviews, but then I saw that they were besties on their boxes, and I was like, okay, I can't separate them. Are you kidding me? That's so cute. All right, so let's take a closer so, look. So Carla's an interesting case for me because when I first saw her, because there was a picture that leaked of her face a long time ago, and I didn't know how to feel about it. I never really say, like, oh, I hate that doll before they come out, but I was kind of just basically a different... And then I saw the more recent, it, they weren't even leaks, they were just that the dolls kind of hit shelves a little earlier than intended. I guess that's technically a leak, I don't know. Um, and I was like, mm, I think she looks really good here, but I'm still not sure. And then as soon as I unboxed, like, the Amazon package that came in, I was like, whoa, she's so pretty. Also, funny enough, I thought that her face was going to be the Paris Hilton face because she leaked before Paris Hilton. Um, and I, and I saw the nose and I was like, oh, I guess they're reusing the Paris Hilton face. I, that's cool. This is actually a unique face sculpt. This is not Paris Hilton's face sculpt. I am absolutely floored that they did that. Also, I'm very surprised because I did not think her hair was this color. It's like the, the color Bella's hair should have been. It's, it still has that yellow tinge to it, but I like it better on this doll than Bella. But like, look at this. You can see her profile's a lot flatter than a lot of the other characters. She's so interesting. I love this hair color. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It looks so good with the skin tone, too. And really nice rooting pattern under there, as always. And look at this hairstyle. It's pretty cool. So is this supposed to be down, by the way? Like, I, I don't know. So there's this piece. It's coming out of this little ponytail that comes back. And it has a wrap, but they've kind of failed with the wrap. And look at this little thingy underneath here. I don't know. This is a very interesting hairstyle. She does have some hair gel, but it's very, very light. Like, it's at the bottoms, and yeah, not bad. You can still play with the hair quite a bit, so I don't know if that's a different gel, because it's not, like, rock hard like a lot of the other gel is, and yeah. So now let's take a look at her little face. She's so cute. Look. So I love the intense blushing that this doll has. She's got some smudge on her face. Look at that. I think that's just, like, hair gel that dried on um but you can see she has like really intense blushing here and specifically look at the eyebrow paint with that pink at the end how cool is that and check out the eye the eyeshadow absolutely gorgeous i do believe this is a sprayed screening and that's why it's a bit messy at the edges by the way which is not something i'm concerned about if i have to use a microscope to see the flaw with my doll I, it's not a flaw to me i don't care look how cute this is Love the little white lines with the pink glitter in them as well. This is just so pretty. And oh, the return of white mascara. I love it. So she might have white eyelashes, like naturally, like 
Delilah does, but I'm thinking it's just white mascara, but I don't know. It's up to us. And okay, so her earrings, I'm very embarrassed and ashamed. So her earrings are amazing. Look, it's an S with a hook and then there's chains hanging down. So you get this really pretty thinner long chain and they come right off pretty easily. Possibly a little too easily because, ah, one of them's missing. I mean, maybe this one only came with one maybe i'll have to look but just know this is because i didn't pay attention when i was unboxing her so i didn't notice um so i'm gonna be looking around this area really closely later but i didn't find it i looked for like 10 minutes earlier i don't know if they exist so i'm sorry about that but look how cute how the it says shadow high in the h there and then this one has a little pearl i don't know it's possible that there's only one earring on the side but i'm not sure but when you're unboxing this doll be very careful in fact in packaging i feel like this could fly off so just be very careful like pay attention to where those earrings are <laughs> and then okay look at this i am so grateful we're getting so many white formal dress tops by the way i love them this one might be cheryl's for me as my favorite because like oh my god we will be taking the dress off to look at it more closely but this is what it looks like with the dress this is super super pretty it's got this little collar this is what i would dress like if i had more like energy in the morning this is so cute look at the sleeves like the the construction quality on Rainbow High and Shadow High dolls is so far beyond what I see on even like collector dolls. It's bizarre to me. It is bizarre. Beautiful. This is something like Integrity Toys quality. I'm, someone's going to roast me for saying that, but like that's what it looks like to me. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And on a $25 Playline doll, let's be clear. And then we have this little S on the belt. Is the belt a separate piece? Let's find out. It is. Thank you. And I love the fabric that they chose for this dress. It's so, so pretty. I love these little white lines. Look at this. This is kind of like what I think Bella's outfit could have looked like if she was a later character. It's so, so pretty. And then she has a little tie. Let's see if it's like a full tie. Oh, it's probably tied in place. We'll look at it later when I take the dress off of her. And then she has this little tie pin, which is pretty cool. It says Shadow High, of course. SH, I should say. And then she has these SH gloves. No rings again. I'm wondering if anybody has rings. I probably just got the two characters that don't. Look at the little pink nails. It's so, so pretty. And there's silver embroidery for the SH. And then, yeah, no ring over there either. Love the little buttons on the dress too. Just look at the construct. Like just, if you didn't have the context of this being a doll and I just took a picture like where you couldn't see the skin tone, like that's so real. Oh, you can see the plastic ties that are holding the tie in place actually. How funny. Okay. And then this material is amazing. So I don't know what to call this material. It has like such an interesting feel to it. It's like a, it's not latex. I know it's not latex, but similar feel to latex. It's so interesting. And then these little buckles here, which are sewn into place. And these are so cool. So they sewed these plastic zipper tracks on. And like, I don't even know how they did that. Yeah, they sewed right through the plastic, didn't they? Wow. It is so innovative. And like, these are so cool. So, so cool. They're kind of like, um, hoof, hooves. I like that a lot, that they kind of look like hooves. I, I would have loved cloven hoof shoes, but I think that's what they're going for. That's what a lot of people have pointed out. And I agree. I think it looks like that, but maybe it's supposed to be just like pants that are opened up at the bottom to have that sort of look like leg warmers i don't know and then her shoes underneath i'm very curious how tall they are actually let's see come on how does this work are these one piece actually let's find out okay they're one piece okay i thought they were separate leg warmers that makes more sense so how is it attached these are so interesting check these out just a very simple white heel on that. So, so, so pretty. What the heck? I don't understand how they're this nice. Um, the fabric shoes, by the way, that Shadow has just been doing um, is, again, insane. Because you don't see that kind of stuff unless you're shopping, like, and it's ludicrously... Oh, I see. It's kind of hard to put the shoes on because you have to put it on both. Okay, I'll do that off camera. Um, unless you're shopping, like, ludicrously expensive collector dolls and even then they usually won't use fabric that's what's so fascinating to me it feels like mga just gave the rainbow high and shadow high designers freedom to like have as much budget as possible and it's so interesting it's so so cool oh and then just kind of skipped right over this she has a fan it says shadow on it you can see the tines on the side and there's this little tassel here and yeah it's super super cool 
love this piece too such a fun accessory and that's not even counted as one of the i mean technically it would be but it's not one of the like extra accessories that they are advertising so it's pretty cool it's just kind of part of her outfit all right now i'm gonna be taking the dress off so that we can take a closer look at what the undershirt looks like because i'm just very curious oh my gosh y'all look at the little tie sorry that was very important to me to look at that how cute is this? So again, be very careful when you're doing this. Make sure you cut that tie before you do it because otherwise you'll rip this um, satin fabric. They use, this is super high quality satin, by the way. Extremely soft. Look, it's actually like a tie, by the way. It's not just cut to look like one. Like sometimes you see dolls with ties that's just a ribbon and it's not even like sewn in any particular way. It's just a ribbon that's cut at an angle, which is really cheap and lame. Um, but this is like a full-on actual tie. And yeah, this shirt's amazing. Um, maybe I'm going to need 17 more Carlas so that I can experiment with that shirt some more because, wow, so, so nice. So nice. And that, oh wait, I was going to say that's the end of the review, but no, it's not. Sorry. It's just, there's so much stuff. I figured that would be it. No, no. So we have one more thing. We need to look at all of Carla's extra accessories, which I have left on the blister. Let's, let's check them out. Let's see. So... Carla comes with her stand, which is a very dark pink compared to her, and then a comb. It's really pretty, like, white pink looking hangers. Love the hangers. I'm so glad they're back. I was so sad that they were gone for so long. I know they came back for, I think, Neon Shadow, but they were gone for a while. A lot of lines didn't have them, including Shadow High Series 1, I believe, which was such a disappointment. Let's get all of these pieces out of here. Yeah, these are a bit difficult to unbox, <laughs> these pieces in particular, because this material is sometimes so like, there we go. Okay, so she coincidentally comes with a lot of the same accessories as Monique, but I know there's characters that have different things, like um, a laptop, for example. I do think that they all might come with this stuff, but I don't know. So the colors are different. As you can see, the color of the actual lipstick and the color, look at that reflection. Is that a reflection? Must be. Oh no, I see. It's some stuff from the packaging got stuck on that one. Um, that's what the black is. Sorry about that. That's just cardboard. Um, yeah, I love that the color of the actual lipstick and the color of the container is different. And then you can see that here as well. They're the same pieces, but they have different colors used, which I appreciate. And then ah, that packaging got stuck to a lot of these. I'm gonna have to wash all that off. Um, so there's her brushes. And then she has a makeup palette. A big one. Seen a lot of these makeup palettes so far. One came with the Rainbow Vision Tour Bus, too. It says Shadow High on the front. And then her phone. She is watching the Rainbow High series on YouTube. Let's turn your color up. And then these are Rainbow Vision episodes, I think. Well, that's the Rockers dolls. That's Pacific Coast. I don't know. Very cool, though. Very, very cute. And then the back of the phone. And the phone case is just SH, SH, SH. Shadow High. And I, I just love the little phone case. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you this. Um, sorry, if something's just like in my head, like that exists, I just <laughs> default to being like, yeah, everybody knows that. Um, there's a little finger hole so that, oh, wrong hand, so that the dolls can hold the, or no, I think you do it like that. Yeah, you put it on the thumb and then it looks like she's just holding it normally, which I love. I was saying this in one of my Monster High reviews that I did. I'm so grateful when companies do stuff like that because especially as a kid, I hated that my dolls could not interact with their stuff. Like I would have to have 45 hands to play with all of the things that came with my dolls. So I really, really love this. Look how cute. I'm gonna take a little selfie together. They're so cute. Oh my God. These dolls are ridiculous. So that is it for this review. Now I'm going to get into my final thoughts on these. So um, I think these are going to be quite polarizing and this does mark the future of Rainbow High and Shadow High from here, I believe. But for me, I'm absolutely in love. As much as I love the second outfits and I'm going to miss them and I will always think that coming with second outfits is better, I do also believe that these dolls, the retail had to go up. I did actually talk to someone at MGA who um, talked me through all that kind of stuff, but I don't think I'm at the liberty to share the types of things um, that are at play here. But they couldn't include the second outfits anymore, and that's why you saw so many weird pricings at the end of last year with, like, Rainbow Vision being, like, 40 and $50, and then the, the costume ball dolls were, like, a really weird price, too, considering what they had. 
So I'm really grateful that they seem to have come to the conclusion that having a doll that is accessible to both kids and collectors or just anyone who doesn't want to spend $40 on their base doll, um, they're giving, they're making that the standard now. And I appreciate that so, so much. And I just can't believe that a doll line that is this premium, and I'm not just saying that, these dolls compared to, I have, I think, close to 3,000 dolls, if not more, in my collection from all across um, different brands that have come out in the past 30 years. I have never seen a doll line this consistently high quality. And I know people just think that I'm extremely biased. I'm an MG, MGA stan or whatever. And you can think that all you want. That's fine if that helps you sleep at night. But it's truly just that I think that they are the most high quality consistently delivering dolls on the market right now. And I think I've made that point very clear. Um, why I feel that way, just all of the details and stuff. But um, a lot of times people like dolls for different reasons, you know? If you just simply don't like the way these dolls look, that's totally fine. Like, that's not a big deal. Um, but I just... I just can't believe the way that Rainbow High has changed the game for dolls. Because I thought, like... When I started collecting Bratz, because I wasn't really into Bratz before, I was like, how were these dolls on the market at this price and this nice? I was completely shocked by the materials that they used and the quality and the construction of the pieces and the diversity of the different pieces that they would come with. I was just completely gobsmacked. And then um, before I started collecting Bratz, I was I started on LOL OMG a little bit, and that was my first MGA doll line that I truly like in, bought quite a few dolls from, more than like a couple, because I mostly stuck to Mattel and Jack Specific before, actually, if you can believe that. Um, and I was like, what? How are dolls like this? And then ra when Rainbow High leaked, uh, there were these really funny pictures from Toy Fair in 2020, it, around felt like February that leaked, and I was like, oh my god, these are the best dolls I've ever seen in my life, just because of the way they look. It's just a look that I really enjoy. Um, and they, even when they launched, they just had such consistently amazing quality. And there there were a few hurdles. There were a lot of strange things that happened. But I truly think that this is going to be the year of Rainbow and Shadow High. But, like, 2022 was such a meteoric year for Rainbow and Shadow High. Like, the fact that Shadow High even came out at all. And I'm just, I'm in love. They, these dolls continue to push the envelope of what can exist on a fashion doll. And they continue to rewrite. Because... Before, if you've watched my reviews for a long time, before I had any MGA dolls en masse, I would praise the smallest things, and if I didn't like something, like the belt was sewn on, I would give a thousand excuses for why I think it's okay that the belt was sewn on. But Shadow High and Rainbow High, I, these are Shadow High dolls, which are just Rainbow High dolls, you know. Rainbow High dolls, LOL OMG dolls, Bratz dolls, all of these other dolls that I've been collecting recently have, like, completely overturned what I thought was possible for a fashion doll, especially at the $25 price point, and I'm blown away. I didn't think we would stick at the $25 price point for long with the two outfits on Rainbow High dolls, um, so I'm shocked that we stayed with it for two years. Because um, Series 4 in July, which was the two-year mark for... Rainbow High actually was still 25 to 30 ish dollars, which is the same as Series 1 was in 2020. So it's pretty incredible. And I'm glad we're back to that $25 price point. It makes the dolls more accessible. I don't like for things to be a premium just for the sake of being more expensive. And it also is not good for the longevity of a doll line for them to just be super expensive. There's very few companies that can pull it off. And even those are struggling, like um, American Girl, for example. So yeah, those are my thoughts. I know I just kind of dumped a bunch of information on you. And I'm just so excited about Shadow High Series 2, and I wanted to talk about it a little bit. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'd love to know what you guys think of all of this. And by the way, I do not mind if you disagree with me. I totally understand if this is a deal breaker that they don't come with two outfits. Like, I'm just here to share my love for dolls. I don't make any... I mean, I, the sales of the dolls do absolutely nothing for me, right? Other than make more dolls happen, which is something that I enjoy. So, um, yeah. I just... For me, these are these are it. And I hope that they continue for a long time because they make me so happy and I love them so much. And I know they make a lot of other people happy and the community around them is amazing. Reminds me a lot of Monster High. Monster High focused more on, like, I don't, I know Monster High dolls aren't the bastion of quality. They never were. And I'll never say that they were, but they focused on the media and the characterization and the stories behind the dolls. And that's why they're so alluring to me. But Rainbow High and Shadow High are simply, because before... If you look at my doll collection, almost all of them are character dolls. I said I was done. <laughs> almost all of my dolls before I started collecting Bratz were character dolls, like strictly character dolls from some kind of media that I really liked. So like Winx Club, Monster High, Ever After High, like dolls that had a very consistent like media where you get to learn a lot about each character. Um, Rainbow High does have that, but like, mm, I don't know. I'm not, the show's not my favorite personally. 
Um, and especially if you're trying to introduce yourself to the characters, you don't really get a lot out of it. But Monster High focused more on the characters, and that's why I love them so much. But Rainbow High has, like, reinvented what a doll means to me. Like, what I love and value about dolls. But Because before, I didn't really like restyling them. I didn't really like changing their outfits. I just liked um, having the physical embodiments of the characters, like the physical, tangible character. I thought that was so cool to be able to take it from my computer screen or from the TV screen and have it in my hands and get to pose it and take pictures of it, you know? But Rainbow High and Shadow High, I've been buying, like, five or so of some of the same characters just because I'm having so much fun with the dolls. I, sorry, this turned into a rant of me, like, passionately explaining why I love Rainbow High so much, and I don't think I need to do it. Just look at them. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. For real, for real this time. Sorry for the rant. Bye. <laughs>